Good morning everyone, Jeanette Byrow here. I'm a medium and a channeler and welcome to your weekday daily card reading where we dive into the cards, see what's in store with a message from spirit. I am using the Awakening Avalon Oracle deck this week and uh, let's see what's in store. I am so curious. You know what I've been noticing is this trend and, and of course it makes sense because Spirit had said that this year would move faster, time would feel like it moves faster, things would change faster in the kind of internal sphere of ourselves. And we'll also notice a lot changing in the 3D world as well, but I noticed this speed and my daughter even mentioned speed. She said the other day, she's like, mom, you know, sometimes I notice I'll look at something if we're driving and I'll look and things will be passing by and then all of a sudden it's like all time will slow. And then I see something stretch out for so long and then it snaps back into the normal time. And I thought, how cool is it that a nine-year-old can understand that? And so I had to try and explain to her that that is seeing through the 3D reality into a higher dimensional frequency. And I think that's something we're all doing in various ways. So for her, she was able to visually see it. Many of you might be noticing that time is very different for you time moves really fast or you have moments where it feels like you had 20 minutes but you feel like you did an hour's worth of work in that spirit literally talked about that i did a cosmic consciousness circle on that so if you want to know more about it you can go back into the past ones and purchase that one anyways all to say was that we have an ability to expand time and moments based on our thought and so i notice i notice this happening and and i notice that the result of that is there are many more alignments happening for people much faster, which is really quite cool. So considering we're still in the eclipse gateway energy until May 5th is when we have the lunar eclipse, there's still a lot of shifts and things to happen. So let's see what Spirit wants to share in the cards today. One more. interesting not what I expected but at the same time I can it makes perfect sense so uh, so how I was explaining time and these alignments often we would think what can I do next how can I help facilitate it what can I do da, 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 da. and what's really neat is the call right now through the cards is sit back hold your frequency and let it happen because First card out is as above, so below. This card talks about flow with the cosmic cycles. So essentially we're in this eclipse gateway right now. And this card really represents like allow the gateway to facilitate the endings and the new beginnings for you. There are things that are meant to be falling into place. So allow that to happen because there's huge, huge cosmic energy. Of course, we've been talking about it above which affects us here. So as above, so below is really the theme right now. Trust that there is a big cosmic cycle at play that is really amplifying the change in frequencies for you. So your intentions really matter. Now, with that, what you can do to amplify is use crystal energy. Using crystal energy to amplify your intentions is huge. So even just, you know, whether you have your meditation in the morning or your few moments of prayer or conscious thought, whatever you want to call it, and you hold a crystal and you amplify that intention with that crystal and then you keep that near you or on yourself in the day or depending which malas you wear for the day. Again, any of those things help amplify your intention. And Many crystals or stones mean different things, but really what I would encourage you to do is what do you feel drawn to? What do you feel drawn to? What does a certain crystal mean to you? And trust that, trust it. So if you feel drawn to selenite, which is just cleansing and clearing, that's it. If you feel drawn to rose quartz, go to rose quartz. Like notice what you're drawn to and uh, it will help to amplify your intentions and your energy in this amazing cosmic cycle right now huge things going on I just I feel it I feel it through my whole being this massive alignments and it's already braiding like the vision they're showing me in my mind is a braid that's already halfway completed 
Like there's so much that's already been braided and there's still more to come, but it, it's coming. So I love this. And then the last card we have for today is rest. And this says, take time to rest and recover. So this is like peaceful waiting. So you're sitting there with your intentions and you're amplifying them in your mind. You're trusting that there's cosmic cycles at play affecting it, but then you're also allowing your body to rest and recalibrate in it. And that is so huge right now because we often forget the amount, the amount of energy that we're moving through our bodies right now is big. And the amount of shifting we're doing in the mental body and even the spiritual body in terms of changing our consciousness, opening our minds to different possibilities, shifting our perspective on past events or traumas, triggers, recalibrating them into the now, setting boundaries, opening up where needed, like that's actually a lot of work. And oftentimes we don't give ourselves enough credit for that. It's, it's a lot of work. And so this card is really beautiful because it's inviting us to rest and that it's okay to rest. When there's big change, we also need to balance that with rest and recovery, whatever that looks like for you. So the messages for this Tuesday are trust in the cosmic cycles that are happening right now. It's a big deal. Use your crystals or your stones to help amplify your intentions and then rest. Rest, allow yourself the time to just let go. Let go, know your intentions are out there, know that spirit hears you, know that your energy is being put in the best direction possible and rest your human self. All right, beautiful. This just, again, it wasn't what I expected, but it feels like it's exactly what I needed to hear. Hopefully it's exactly what you needed to hear just to allow peace in this transformation because transformations can be a lot, but they don't have to be crazy intense. And so, um, well, no, they can be crazy intense. I think what I wanna say is they don't have to totally run us ragged. We can go through massive transformation, but we can also do that in the in a peaceful way, in a calm way. We can, it's kind of like, Spirit's showing me, you can be in a windstorm and just feel like, wow, everything's crazy and feel totally flustered. Or you can be in the same windstorm, but you walk out into it calmly and you experience the energy of the wind, which actually invigorates you. Instead of being caught off guard and you get caught in the world of like, oh, my hair, my clothes, my blah, 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 I lost all my papers. Instead, you can go out there and you can breathe in that energy of the wind and experience it completely different. Same windstorm, two different ways. So see how the energy is for you today. And uh, I'm really curious what Spirit has to share tomorrow in the channeled or mediumship message. Again, I won't know until tomorrow. But uh, definitely check that out. And if you haven't already, check out the podcast yesterday. It's all about the ascension symptoms right now in this eclipse gateway. So you won't want to miss that. And I will see you all tomorrow.